The rapprochement stage is a recovery to contact with the mother, though this time, it's distinct. This time the child gets a more independent self into the association. There are two people now, with disagreeing thoughts and sentiments, and the child is ready to connect to the outer world, without forfeiting a sense of self. Anger is a companion. God formed it with the aim to inform us that there's a concern that needs urgent attention. Anger is a method for offspring to know that their knowledge is separate from someone else's. The capacity to use bitterness to differentiate between self and others is limited. Children who can adequately represent anger will comprehend, later in life, when someone is attempting to manipulate or harm them. Toddlers going through rapprochement repeatedly use one of the most powerful words in human speech, no. While it can appear during hatching, no becomes perfect during rapprochement. It's the first oral boundary offspring comprehend.
The word no benefits children split from what they dislike. It empowers them with the capacity to make informed decisions. It saves them. Learning to deal with a child's no is critical to that child's growth. One couple didn't listen to their child's denial of eating certain foods uncovered. Later that she had developed an allergy to one eatable. Knowledgeable parents will be okay with their child's opposition. They will let the child sense that his no is just as lovable as his yes. They won't shrink emotionally from the child who answers no, and they will stay connected. Parents ought to be able to develop and keep age-appropriate limitations with kids. It represents not giving in to temper tantrums at the plaything shop, though it would be less humiliating to calm the child by buying half of the stockpile. Boundary issues have roots in thousands of meetings with others and our character and qualities. However, the most significant boundary disputes appear in the critical first few years of life. They may occur in any or all of the three stages of separation individuation, hatching and rehearsing.
Good relationships and ripe characters thrive primarily on suitable NOS. Growing children need to understand their limitations and will get praise. It is essential that their conflicts, practicing, and investigation are not equivalent to a pullback of love. When parents draw away in pain, dissatisfaction, or passive anger, they notify their child. You're lovable when you exhibit appropriate conduct. You aren't lovable when you compromise your behavior.